want them to lead and live happy lives. We want them to feel secure in the world. We want them to feel empowered. Like all of the things that we want for our kids are really in their best interest. The problem is being raised in an authoritarian paradigm does not allow our children to find within themselves their own empowerment, their own source of happiness, their own even self-regulation. And even though as parents, we want what's best, we feel like we must guide them, that gets translated into many parents' brains as forcing them to do something in order to protect them. And I think that's a myth and a paradigm that needs to be tossed away, thrown on its head and re-examined. You enter into a relationship where it's an inequality of power, then you're not actually trying to find the space for connection. My book and all the work that I've been doing and the way that I raised my son, we totally threw that idea on its head. I raised my son within a, a, a partnership paradigm and the goal was not to be a friend. The goal was to be in partnership with him, but through partnership and connection, not coercion, connection, we actually established a really deep relationship, which is a friendship, right? That wasn't my goal. My goal was connection. As a byproduct, there is friendship in there. And the majority of parents that adapt a kind of paradigm, which is based on authority, they're doing it because they have fear around what their child might or might not do. The problem is you don't give them a chance to make a decision and empower themselves, and you don't give them a chance to make mistakes and fail in a safe environment, in safe spaces. And you're not providing the tools then to allow them the experience of unpacking, the experience of processing mistakes, the experience of recognizing dysregulation. Sometimes it comes into play that they've panicked and made a decision. You're actually forcing them to have those experiences in real life when they're an adult where the stakes are much higher.